What up, Symbolic Nation? I'm so glad you joined me today. Welcome to another day to celebrate life, another opportunity to celebrate this gift that we have. Today, I'm celebrating the question, what do I want? This is possibly the most important question anyone can ask. The two most important questions are, who am I? What do I want? What is my deep desire in this life? And this is a question that I've been playing with for years. And I want to start by saying the question is more important than the answer. Because the question is what guides me along to make discoveries and to try new things. Life is not so much about finding as it is about searching and exploring. There's so much to experience in life. And the way that we can continue having new, fresh experiences is by continuously asking questions and following our curiosity. So finding out what you want is what guides you to your particular life path. We're all incredibly unique and we all have a specific path that we're on and we're destined to travel on. And the beautiful part is that you don't know until you're there. But the only way you can get there is by asking the question, what do I want? What's my next step? And so I want to talk about some of the things that helped me and continues to help me discover what I want and bring me to my next step into the new experiences of life. So, if there was no money in the world and you were able to do whatever you wanted for free, how would you live your day today? What's the first thing you would do when you get up out of bed? What's the first thing you would eat? Where's the first place you would go? Where would you even be in the world? This is actually a very powerful exercise because it opens up the mind, it takes away some of the blocks and limitations that we put on ourselves because of money. And once we take that block off and allow our mind to fly freely, that's when we really get to discover what we have inside. And it's so important to think freely, take away these limitations a lot of these limitations were given to us as kids or as adults from other people. And we allow these limitations to block us. And they block us the most when we're not even aware of them. So these kind of exercises, these thought exercises can help you identify where your blocks are and what the limitations are you have on your mind. And so where would you be? What would you want to do every day? If money wasn't a problem, if you had all the money in the world, what would you want to go do? Now, that doesn't mean that now that you if you if you have an answer for that, that doesn't mean that now you can go do that because money is something that's that's real in the world. But at least now you start to unlock some of your some of your desires, some of your deep desires. These are the things that you want. Another question, what would you do if you didn't fear what other people thought of you? That's a big one. If you didn't care at all what anyone would think or say, what would you do today? How would you dress? How would you look? Where would you go? Who would you be with? This question will lead you deep inside to your true self. Your true self is your deepest desires. What do you really want?
here in Symbolic Nation, we're all, we're all a walking symbol. We all symbolize something. And when we get more clear about what we want, we also get more clear about what we want to symbolize in the world. What's your message? What do you stand for? If you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for anything. What do you symbolize? I personally, I like to walk around with the energy and symbolize that life is a celebration, that life is a gift, and we want to celebrate every second of every day. We want to celebrate the ups, we want to celebrate the downs. That doesn't mean that I'm ecstatic every second of the day, but it means that deep inside, my deepest desire is to celebrate the moment and to be in reality and to celebrate it. And all the things that I do, all the things that I love to do and want to do, have some aspect of exploring the beauty of life and have some aspect of wanting to celebrate the moment. I want to do things that are going to leave me saying, yes, that was awesome. Life is awesome. I want to be in love with life. That's what I symbolize. What do you symbolize? What's the message that you want to give off the world when you walk by the street? What do you want people to read off of your energy? Now, a good exercise to figure out what you want is also to figure out what you don't want. Right? Sometimes it's hard to get clear about what exactly it is that we want, but it's pr it's pretty clear what we don't want. All right? If you want to find your dream, look at your nightmare. What does your worst day look like? What's the last thing you want to end up looking like in life? This could be a scary road to go down, but know that the more clear you get about your nightmare, the more clarity you're getting about your dream. I know that my nightmare is to just be stuck in a perpetual cycle of thoughtless action. My nightmare is to find myself 35, 45 years old just not sure how I got here and not sure how my life got away from me and wishing that I could go back and actually live my life the way I want to live it and actually pursue and explore the things that I deeply want. That's my nightmare. I want to be a free thinker and that's what I want for you guys. Symbolic nation. Everyone here is a free thinker. I know because I know some of you. And the people that I don't know, welcome to Symbolic Nation and welcome to free thought. Freedom starts in here. Right? We live life from the inside out, not from the outside in. A lot of us started off life and maybe still are experiencing some programming that we've received from the people around us, the people that raised us, the things that we've seen in life, the things that we watch, the things that we hear. That's outside in information. And some of that is useful, you know? Everything that we hear and see on the outside is pointing arrows for us to look inside. All your answers are inside. Your desires are here and here. Let's live life from the inside out and be free thinkers. The world needs more free thinkers. The world needs more thought leaders. The, wor the world needs people who symbolize things and give energy as opposed to just taking and taking and taking. What do you want to give? Who do you want to be? What do you want to symbolize? Think about it. Peace.